Hey, welcome YouTube. I'm Niket and you are watching Vet Study. So in today's video, we will discuss about teeth of different species. We will discuss also the dental formula in detail. So before starting, I suggest you that you can follow me on Instagram. On my Instagram account, I started uploading mini vlogs. So you can get in touch with me on Instagram. So let's start with the, the horse. As we all know, the uh, in horse, the deciduous teeth number is 24 and the permanent teeth number is 40 to 42 in case of stallion, whereas in case of mare, it is 36 to 40. So I will tell you why this difference occur in uh, between the sexes, between the two sexes. Uh, before starting, uh, let me tell you the permanent dental formula of equine. It is 3134 uh, by 3133. So, uh, what do we mean by 3134? This 3134 is uh, 3 incisors, 1 canine, 3 premolar and 4 molars. And this is half of the upper uh, jaw. It is half of the upper jaw. It means that your upper jaw will be half of the upper jaw. That is our number. Hai. So, this is the number. This half of the upper jaw is number. Hai, hai? Similarly, in the upper jaw, ke half mein Dusri side bhi aapko half ye milega. Okay. So, uh, I think it is clear now. So, to get the total number of uh, teeth in upper jaw, you have to double this number. Okay. So, it comes around 22. So, 22 teeth are present in upper jaw in case of equines. In case of stallion mainly. And in, in case of lower jaw, it is 20. Uh, so, the total comes the 42. So, 40 to 42 is the number, permanent teeth present in the stallion. Okay. How it comes? Just uh, uh, double the number. Uh, it is 6, 2, 6, 6. And when you add this number, it will come this, 20. Right? 6 plus 2, 8 plus 6 plus 6. It will come 20. So, this is the 42 number. Okay. Uh, that is how you uh, calculate the dental formula in case of equines. So this is the equine incisor, incisor and uh, as you can see the structure, the cement fill infundibulum, this is the enamel. We already discussed the general structure of tooth. If you haven't watched my last video, just go through that video so that you can uh, easily understand this topic, right? This is cement, this is dentine and this is the dental cavity of equine. This is the real tooth of equine, right? And uh, uh, this is cheek tooth of equine, this is cement this is enamel i think you can appreciate this cement this part is cement and this part is enamel this part is enamel this is the dental neck and this is the dental cavity and uh, uh, this is dentine this is cement and again this is the dental root uh, or the uh, tooth root okay and uh, then we have the permanent dentition of a stallion as we already discussed uh, in permanent de dentition we have a 42 42 tooths uh, so now let's again calculate as you can see here uh, there are three incisors in half uh, three incisors are present in half so three incisors next we have one canine remember this this canine tooth make difference between the two sexes stallion and mare uh, this canine tooth is mainly present in case of uh, stallions. Uh, sometimes it, it is also present, either it is absent or it is, if it is present in mare, it is vestigial. Remember this, it, uh, this canine tooth is not present in case of the mare. If it is present in mare, it will be vestigial. Okay, so this is the permanent dentition of the stallion. So one canine is present. Next we have three premolar. Uh, so this is uh, P three premolar these are three premolar next we have the uh, four molars okay uh, either you have three premolar or the four uh, molar so this this will be three or four um, okay that is why we have 40 to 42 so uh, four let's suppose that it is four now double this number it will come six this will come two this will come six this will come 8 and when you add this number it will come uh, 20 okay so this will come 20 22 sorry this will come 22 and in the lower jaw it will come 20 and when you add this number it will come 42 right so this is how you can calculate the uh, number of teeth in stallion uh, this is also the image of uh, stallion uh, mandible 
as you can see uh, in this the root of the tooth uh, of the teeth are exposed as you can see this is the m3 molar 3 this is the m2 as you can see this this is the root this is m1 this is p4 this is p3 this is p2 right uh, premolar 2 premolar 3 next uh, again we have mandibular and maxillary uh, arcade of horse uh, so this is the p1 this is p2 p3 p4 m1 m2 m3 right so this is the dental structure next we have the occlusion surface of young horses with visible cup and older horses where the cup has disappeared but the dental star is visible so this is used uh, when you when the dentition is used to make the aging of the horse right we will discuss in uh, this in uh, different video aging of uh, horses and cattle how you can estimate the age of horse and cattle uh, through their dentition we will discuss this topic in different video but uh, here you can see this is the young horse teeth and this is the older horse uh, tooth sorry uh, so this in the younger part as you can see there is a cup shape formation occur but this cup is not present in case of the adult tooth so this is the major difference and uh, shearing and tearing is the other factor which tell you about the age of the um, animal right uh, so these are different structure outer ring of the enamel this is the dental star this dental star is very important this dental star this this structure is the dental star right this dental star is very important and this can be asked in your exam this dental star right and uh, this dental star is not present in case of the young animals or the young foals uh, next we have the occlusion surface of mandibular premolar of horse and ox so as you can appreciate there is a considerable difference between the ocular surface of mandibular premolar in case of uh, ho in case of ox this is the horse and in this is the ox right so you can appreciate this also next we have the dog so this is all about the horses now we have the dog adult dog usually have uh, 42 permanent teeth so th the number is 42 whereas puppies or uh, have or the deciduous teeth are 28 in number so how this number comes again this is the permanent dental formula you just remember the permanent dental formula of every species because it is uh, very hectic to learn uh, deciduous and permanent uh, this dental formula right so just remember the permanent dental formula and uh, from the permanent dental formula you can calculate the number of teeth so the permanent dental formula in case of adult dog it is 3142 uh, by 3143 so if you uh, double this number it will come uh, six two eight four okay and when you add this number it will come six plus two eight eight plus eight sixteen plus four twenty right again uh, when you add the lower digits it will come 22 and when you add these two digits it will come 42 so 42 number of total number of teeth are present in case of dogs uh, 20 teeth are present in upper jaw and 22 teeth total number of teeth are present in the lower jaw uh, now we will see how it comes right uh, so there should be no scope for confusion in your brain just look at this video again okay if you are having any confusion and if you again you have confusion then please comment down your query i will try to solve that query okay uh, so this is the nasal bone this is the typical uh, skull uh, of a puma okay this is the nasal bone zygomatic uh, process because the dentition is uh, in case of dog and in case of uh, felines is somewhat similar so you can see this is the infraorbital foramen this is the maxilla this is mandible and this is the mental foramen this is the mental foramen and these are the canines these are the canines tooth and th these are the incisors so uh, what we are talking about see uh, the incisor number in upper uh, here written is the three right so one two three this is three why we are doubling this number because three are present in half portion only again the in the half portion the three number three incisors are present so total number of incisors in the upper uh, jaw will become six uh, three on the left side and three on the right side okay so that is how six number come again uh, one incisor present in the left side this is the one incisor and one incisor present in the right side that is why we double this number to two again uh, the four four uh, premolar present in the one side four present in the next side and two uh, molar present in the one side and two present in the other side so that is how we calculate the uh, number of total number of uh, teeth in upper and lower jaw so this is the 
अगेन दी मैंडिबल ऑफ अ डॉग कॉर्डोलेटरल सरफेस और कॉर्डोलेटरल एस्पेक्ट एंड इन दिस यू कैन सी द इंसाइजर सो आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू द टोटल नंबर ऑफ इंसाइजर्स द टोटल टोटल नंबर ऑफ इंसाइजर्स आर सिक्स टोटल नंबर ऑफ कैनाइंस आर टू वेर एज टोटल नंबर ऑफ प्री मोलर्स आर एट एंड टोटल नंबर ऑफ मोलर इन लोअर जो आर सिक्स सो एज यू कैन सी and if i talk about the dental formula it is 3 1 4 3 okay this is this is for the lower jaw this is for the lower jaw remember this so it will come 3 1 4 3 and you can also see here three incisors one canine four premolar and three molar okay so i think there is no confusion after this and you can also count this in this image count the uh, teeth in this image okay so uh, this is incisor 1 this is incisor 2 this is incisor 3 right and again three incisors are present on the other side uh, okay again three incisors are present on the other side so the ultimate number will be 6 and uh, one canine is this and one canine is this so ultimate number will be 2 okay and uh, uh, three uh, three premolars 1 2 3 three premolars are present on the one side and three premolars are present on the other side so ultimate number will be 6 and uh, sorry uh, four premolar four premolar and four so ultimate number will be 8 and uh, uh, two molar are present on the one side so this is 1 uh, and 2 and two are present on the other side so 1 and 2 Okay, so the ultimate number will be four, and if you add this six plus two eight, and eight uh, plus eight is sixteen, eight plus eight sixteen, and sixteen plus four is equals to twenty. So that is how the twenty teeth are present in the upper jaw in case of canines. Now let's calculate the uh, teeth total number of teeth in lower jaw. So uh, obviously six incisors are present in uh, lower jaw. Six incisors. Two canines are present in lower jaw. Okay, and uh, one, two, three, four. Four premolars are present, and four in the opposite side. It means that eight premolars are present in the lower jaw. Uh, but if we talk about the molar, so there is a difference in the number of molar in the lower jaw. Here, three molars are present in the lower jaw. So the ultimate number of the molar in the lower jaw will be six. So that is how it will come twenty-two. And when you add this number, it will come. 42 so in dogs 42 total number of teeth is 42 20 in the upper jaw and uh, 22 in the lower jaw okay uh, only this uh, this third molar makes difference okay next we have pigs uh, so uh, there are few things also uh, about the dogs like puppy start losing their baby teeth or the deciduous teeth within 12 to 16 weeks of age so if a owner comes and tell you that uh, their puppy start shedding their uh, deciduous teeth so make them realize that it is very normal okay 12 to 16 weeks is the age when puppy start shedding their deciduous teeth and by the 6 month of age by the 6 month of age uh, most of the deciduous teeth are replaced by the permanent teeth so sometime this canine tooth is also called as the fang tooth okay this sometime this also called as a fang tooth so this is the other name for this and they appear at the 3 to 6 week of age okay so this fang tooth appear at the 3 to 6 week of age and they are replaced by the permanent canine by 12 to 16 week of age as we already discussed so the uh, the most important thing here is that the upper fourth the upper this okay so this the upper fourth premolar upper fourth premolar remember this this tooth is the largest tooth this is the largest tooth in canines right and that is why this tooth is known as the carnassial tooth this is very important i can say that this is most important thing in this video this carnassial tooth these carnassial tooths are present in case of canines and the, the number will be asked the, this is the fourth prim uh, fourth upper premolar right so fourth upper premolar is known as the carnassial tooth and it is mainly responsible for the shearing and tearing of the uh, meat or the food which a dog eat right so this is the fourth premolar next we have the canine tooth is well developed as we all know there is also a difference in the uh, number of roots uh, in case of the canine's uh, tooth right so if we talk about uh, let me write here 
सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द इंसाइजर्स इंसाइजर्स एंड कैनाइंस दैन इन बोथ द जो द नंबर ऑफ रूट्स द नंबर ऑफ रूट ऑफ द टूथ विल बी वन एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द सेकेंड एंड थर्ड प्री मोलर्स द नंबर ऑफ रूट विल बी टू एंड इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द फोर्थ प्री मोलर फोर्थ प्री मोलर एंड ऑल मोलर्स ऑफ अपर जो ऑफ अपर जो इट विल कम फोर रूट्स राइट एंड इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द फोर्थ प्री मोलर ऑफ लोअर जो इट विल हैव थ्री रूट्स एंड थर्ड मोलर थर्ड मोलर obviously third molar is present in the lower jaw only it will have one root only right so these roots are important uh, when you consider the aspect of surgery right so you uh, how much roots are uh, uh, tooth have you have to the extraction of tooth take that much you know efforts and th that much energy to remove that tooth so it will come with complication uh, if the number of roots increases you will study this in surgery portion so just remember the number of roots present in different tooths right so this is all about the dog now let's talk about the pig so pig dentition is somewhat similar to the uh, dogs but uh, here is one difference only only one difference is present in case of dog the dental formula is 3142 divided uh, by 3143 okay but here the dental formula is 3143 by 3143 it means that uh, in the upper jaw uh, third molar is present which was absent in case of the equines uh, sorry in case of canines so it is absent in case of canines but it is present in case of uh, this swines or the pig so uh, you can also calculate the dental formula as previous one uh, this 3143 just double this it will come 6 2 8 6 and at this it will come 22 again and in the lower jaw also 22 so 22 uh, teeth are present in upper jaw 22 teeth are present in lower jaw when you add this it will come 44 so this is the permanent uh, uh, permanent teeth which are present in the case of the so, uh, uh, pigs. male pigs have uh, well developed canine tooth as you can see this is the canine so canines are present in case of equines and in case of pig right and uh, the tooth in the lower jaw is are more larger right uh, the canine in the lower jaw canine tooth is more larger than the upper uh, now let's discuss about the rabbit so rabbit is a unique animal in case of dentition so uh, the total number of teeth in case of rabbit is 28 and if we talk about the permanent dental formula of rabbit it will come uh, 2 0 it means they do not have the canine tooth incisors are 2 and uh, the premolar and the molar right it will come 16 if we double this number again and it will come 12 and if we add this number it will come 28 okay so this is how uh, the teeth look like in case of rabbit so these are three premolars which are present in the upper uh, in the half side of the upper jaw and these are three uh, molars whereas in the lower jaw only two premolars are present and three molars are present so in case of dog uh, there is a difference in the molar but in case of rabbit there is a difference in the premolar and these are the incisors right so this is uh, also all, all about the uh, rabbit and as we all know uh, poultry do not have teeth so we will not discuss that in uh, this video right so this is all about this video thanks for watching if you like then please press the thumbs up and subscribe to vet study